It's not just an ordinary Tuesday. Welcome to Terrier Tuesdays, the show where you can get to know some of Boston University's best and brightest student athletes. Welcome to another edition of Terrier Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Edelson. I'm pleased to be joined by John Wilson, 1981 graduate of the Questrom School of Business and former Boston University track and field and cross country standout. And John, thanks so much for joining us. How are you today? Very well. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, great to uh, to chat with you today. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Um, so first things first, you know, tell us a little bit about how you got into running and then um, off of that, how you decided to come to BU. Wow. How I got into running. Um, well, growing up in the UK, I, uh, you know, I started playing soccer and then rugby and then we all had to, you know, I went to an all boys school in London and we all had to do all sports. And I just discovered that, boy, this running thing, I seem to be doing quite well at it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, at the time I was playing basketball, soccer, rugby, track and cross country. And um, so I guess I was getting quite fit generally. And I just found that running, um, you know, I loved all sports, but running, I seem to, to uh, be, I have a bit more control of my own destiny, you know, um, not that I'm not a team player, but, you know, I just found more success with it. <laughs> Absolutely. So what, uh, what drew you to be you? Um, uh, obviously you're coached by David Hemery, um, yeah. you know, be you graduate and certainly I'm sure a, a hero uh, back home. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I, yeah, once I, once I moved into running in particular, I focused on that, you know, joined a track club in the UK, ran from a school. Um, and I started getting recruited by American universities because I'd won um, a couple of national championships and, and, uh, you know, it was doing reasonably well. And, um, so there might've been maybe eight or 10 of, of these different universities in the, in those days, <laughs> they contacted us via telephone or letter, like pigeon post right so <laughs> i kept getting these email these sorry emails yeah letters <laughs> and phone calls from these different universities you know ranging all the way from uh, west coast uh, stanford or to the east coast you got maryland and there was arkansas and a couple of places in texas and then boston university and um boston university contacted me uh via david Hemery, and you know being a track athlete in the uk he, you know he's he's so famous uh, um, and, and so I thought, wow, this is, this is interesting. So uh, David actually came to my house um, and, and, and met with me and my parents. And, um, it, you know, it was tough, really, to, to, to uh, it, was, it, it became a really simple decision. Um, Boston University being very strong academically um, and then having a coach uh, in David Hemery, um, another Brit, another expatriate Brit, um, <laughs> So being so far from home and, you know, combining the athletic side with the academic side and being in a, a great city like Boston, um, I took it, you know, I, I made a great decision, obviously, uh, because in those days, you couldn't really visit uh, the campuses right. from the UK, you know, there were all these different universities, but I just felt, wow, you know, David Hemery, whoa, um, you know, he's a, he's a superstar. And of course, I wanted the academics. I didn't want to go to a track and field factory. Um, and, and that really swayed it for me. But David was uh, was was most of it, you know, in terms yeah, of well, making that decision. Yeah. What was it like to have David Hemery come to your house uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and talk, try to try, and he's selling you on, uh, you know, working it. with him. Yeah. Well, I was incredibly humbled because you know I'm I was an 18 year old young lad, and I all I'd done it. I'd seen him on television. Um, and I remember seeing him. Uh, I'm going to age myself a bit, but I remember seeing him uh, win the Olympics in 68. Um, and then since then, he, he, you know, he was regularly on television and was, you know, was quite a personality in the UK at the time. And then to see him, you know, first of all, he writes me a couple of letters and then he actually comes uh, to, to me, me and my family. Um, it was, um, yeah, that sort of made the decision <laughs> when I opened up the door and they, there's David Emery. <laughs> Were you the talk of the town uh, amongst your friends when, <laughs> when he comes by? Um, well, it was funny, yeah, because, you know, the track club, everyone knows what's going on at school. Everyone knows what's going on in those days. And, um, yeah, it was it was big news. It was big news. So, <laughs> was what was it like, yeah. so, so what was it like being an international student at, at BU? And, and, you know, this is your first taste of America and it's a new school and you have all this 
competition and academics going on. What was that like for you? Oh, it's very interesting because in those days, in the, in the, in the, in the 70s, 80s, a lot of our television was, was American TV shows. And it was all, you know, um, cop shows and lots of guns and stuff. I was expecting to come to America. There'd be, you know, um, uh, gunfights all over the place. Uh, <laughs> so I wasn't sure what to expect. Of course, it wasn't that at all. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I missed home. Um, but Dave made it easier because it was, you know, the track team was like a family. There were a couple of us f uh, from the UK. Um, it was a bit daunting freshman year uh, because, you know, you're away from home. You're in, in business school, which is quite challenging. And then you're, you're, you're competing and you're part of a, a you know, a rebuild process um, that David was le leading. So there was a lot going on. So it was a bit challenging, but, um, you know, I think the key is being a student athlete at Boston U, um, no matter when you graduated, it, it, you know, you're part of a family and uh, in many ways. And so it does, it can make a, a, cha a very challenging situation as a young freshman um, that, that much easier. Um, so yeah, it was a completely new country, <laughs> quite a different culture. Um, but it was made a lot easier uh, given the fact that I was an athlete and, and on a team and the coach, um, you know, was also an expatriate from the UK. And, and it was just you know, an, an all around, BU was just a great all round uh, experience um, in, a, in an amazing city. So you know, I look back on it all very fondly. Now you helped lead BU to the NCAA championships and cross country. What was that experience like to run on such a big stage like that? <laughs> yeah, that, that was fun. We had, a, we had a really tight team. We had a really strong team. And you know, we'd won the IC4As. We'd won pretty much everything in sight. And, and um, we qualified the NCAAs. I think it was seventh in the Northeast Regional. And so it was, I think it was our first time in program history um, making the NCAAs in cross country. So um, it was just a great experience. Um, and, and the thing was, you know, it was a tough race and all of that, but it was just fun being with the guys and having a, you know, a really tight team situation, a great experience, you know, that we'd sort of reach the, the best of the best in cross country for such a, you know, a, a young team and um, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, it was a great experience, great experience. Now, what did you prefer, running track or cross country? Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> I prefer tr track, honestly. Um, you know, I come from the more the you know the eight, the fifteen hundred, the occasional steeplechase. Cross country was a bit longer than that, yeah. so uh, yeah, I prefer just prefer the track. I don't know, but but I think you need both if you're a middle distance athlete. You know, you need to be able to balance both. But that was just my preference. Um, track versus country. Um, what was it like to qualify for the um, 1980 Olympic trials and then to join the Great Great Britain's national team to you know represent your country uh, on such a stage like that? Well, I didn't make the Olympic team. Um, I, you know, I qualified in three events. Uh, I think it was the eight, the 15 and the steeple. Um, and uh, I didn't make the Olympic team. Um, I had been on a couple of national teams, the English team and then the Great British team, Great Britain team. So I didn't, I didn't make the team, unfortunately, but um, it, was, it was amazing representing my country. Um, uh, it's quite an honor. I still got the, you know, all the, the vest somewhere hanging in the tracksuit, hanging somewhere in a closet. The children think it's a scream. It's like in the, the Stone Age. Um, so it, it was just an amazing experience, um, you know, uh, running in the Olympic trials. Um, again, you know, I, I just wasn't fast enough. We had guys called Steve Obet and Sebastian Coe who ended up winning medals. <laughs> so. It was a bit challenging, but it was just a great experience. You know, I, I just, you know, all the experiences were fantastic. And BU certainly um, is a major part of that and a major part of my life. Yeah, so let's talk about how BU prepared you for your post-athletic career, um, you know, in terms of business and how important that education was uh, from, from Questrom. Yeah, I think there's two elements to it. You know, one is being a student athlete. And I think the fact that as a student athlete, you really have to balance everything. You really have to manage your time and your priorities and you really have to develop um, you know a, a discipline uh, in how you approach uh, a heavy workload and i think that that's an element and then of course the education at questrom um, which at the time is called school of management um 
but I felt I got an amazing education there and, and, and have benefited from that um, through my career. It was, um, again, it was, it was quite challenging um, and, you know, trying to balance that with track and field and have some kind of social life, <laughs> um, you know, it taught me a lot of time management, priority setting, um, but, but business school was stimulating. It really was. Um, it, I found it fascinating and I, concentrated in marketing and international and actually ended up following uh, you know my career has been in, in really in those areas uh, in originally initially and then evolved from there so yeah I'm proud I went to question um, it continues to to uh, to do extremely well and get well well uh, very well rated in all these different rankings um, so yeah it was an excellent education and uh, my young daughter Claire is a freshman now um, also track and cross country runner is at Questrom as well. So it sort of runs in the family. Yeah. What's that, what's that like to, uh, to, you know, kind of see your, see it passed down, um, you know, another, ge another generation to not only go to be you, but to, um, your runner, what's uh, tell me a little uh, well, bit about that. It was well, amazing. I'm very proud of her. She's a great girl. She'll be incredibly embarrassed when she sees this. <laughs> First of all, uh, she'll find it incredibly embarrassing and funny. Um, to watch me give this inter interview, but um, yeah, it's wonderful. You know, I, we're very blessed. You know, she's done incredibly well academically, and, she, and she's a, a very strong athlete. And um, so she's running for Boston U, which is great. And, and there were many others she could have gone to, but you know, she really has an affinity for for Boston U, um, and of course Boston, and and, and you know, the whole the, everyone there. I mean, it's just a great great place. So yeah, it's. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm very proud of her. I'm very blessed that I had the opportunity. I mean, that you know, it started there. Um, yeah. 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 And what's it like to see the, how the programs continue to grow since, um, you know, since you've been there, you know, continuing to have success in all sorts of events, yeah. not just, you know, the distance events, but, um, you know, whether it's the throws, jumps, sprints, yeah. Yeah. it seems like uh, every year there's always someone that contends for, uh, for national and conference awards. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I think BU is like this diamond in the rough. You know, it's one of those programs that, that is, 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 um, is a premium program and has, has the academic, um, you know, the level of academics that it has. Um, it sort of gets, uh, it, it, sometimes it's missed um, where when, you, when you look at all the big, uh, the other big track programs out there, BU has much more of a balance than most of them. And when you look at the performances of some of these, these young student athletes who are amazing. And I look at, I look at the times over the years, um, you know, and my, 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 what my, I had four records here. They, you know, they, they've been smashed um, since then. So I look at some of these times and I look at the um, more importantly, I look at the, 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 the athletes, the youngsters coming out of BU and how, you know, how well, well grounded they seem and how professional they seem when you talk to them and you listen to them. Um, I, you know, I just think it's, it's a very well-rounded program. It's, it's a very well-balanced program, um, which puts it in a different kind of category to the average track and field cross-country program um, in Division I. So, you wish uh, that, do you wish that you got to run uh, at the track and tennis center? Oh, the track and tennis center, I would have been much faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we all say. Yeah. The older we get, the better we were. <laughs> Yeah, I see some of those times and in, in those events, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's a lot more, a lot of other alumni. I think, and boy, it would have been nice to, uh, <laughs> nice, nice to run there. So, are you no excited doubt. to to come back and and you know see events there uh, once once we're allowed to do so? It's amazing. I, I've been I've been coming back to alumni events over the years, and it makes you feel so proud that um, you know that, that that one is part of a program, part of the family. Um, with facilities like that, with people like like we have in the coaching staff, and with the with the young student athletes, and the, the whole university uh, makes me feel very proud. Um, you know, when I tell people I went to Boston University, and, and then to see, selfishly as a track athlete, to see the facilities there now, um, and that track is is world renowned. Um, it, it, it's stunning. It's a it, it's a stunning um, venue. Uh, it's incredibly. Um, well designed, well laid out, and of course the track itself is state of the art. Um, I remember when I started at Boston U, 
Um, Harvard was the big new track, and we all would work out there and look, you know, look, look, look forward to racing there. It was my first indoor race was against Harvard, um, and we beat them. Um, and, and that was the state of the art at the time, but I now look at uh, the Boston University of the Track and Tennis Center. I mean, it's phenomenal. It really is. I, 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 put, I put it against any, any other venue um, in the US, if not the world. It's, it's incredible. It's a credit to, to, to BU. Yeah, it's always nice to go over there for, for the big meets and just to, the crowds there. I mean, the yeah. atmosphere, as I tell people, it's yeah. oftentimes the atmosphere, it's like you're at a, you know, a big time like hockey game, for example, yeah. uh, at, at BU. I mean, just the fans there, everyone around the track and the intensity yeah. and the caliber of competition. It's incredible. I tell people you have to get over there at some yeah. point uh, and, and just experience it because it really is something else. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, I. Uh, we've had a bunch of uh, alumni gatherings there. It's just been fun to, you know, to be at that venue, see the events and see my teammates and see and see how BU is doing and so on. But it, it really is a, an amazing um, uh, venue. And I know it's, I think it's sort of become the, the destination for some of the pros who want to um, run fast times and get qualifying times and others. Um, it, it seems to be the place to be now, which is, ama which is amazing. It's fantastic, it really is. Absolutely. My final question is, I was, you touched on it uh, there briefly, but um, you know, what's it like to get together with your teammates, um, you know, when you can and how often do you keep in touch with them and how important is that BU track cross country family? Oh, I think it's really important. And honestly, we don't get together enough. <laughs> it's, you know, we all have careers and businesses that we're running and this and this and that and the other. Um, it's fun. I mean, it's every time you go back, you, you chuckle about the things that, that, that you, you know, you, you experience together as teammates. Um, you know, for me, it was, it, it's still like a family, you know, at the time we felt like we were part of a family and, and, you know, and Dave was, was sort of running the, running the family, running the program. Um, but every, all of us have fond memories and, you know, we all get together occasionally at alumni events and, um, it's really nice to catch up and, and it, it get, you know, there's a bond there. Um, I think there's a bond with all the BU athletes. Um, but particularly in your own sport. Um, and, I, you know, one thing Dave is doing and Paul and then, you know, the rest of the team there, um, uh, you know, Gabe is really trying to bring that whole um, alumni um, group together again and really, really um, engage all of, the, all of the track and field and cross-country alumni um, out there and bring them closer, closer to the university and, and bring us all back in because, you know, there, there are times depending on what's going on we all get so busy um but i think it's really a, a good thing to see um you know, the communications and, and the, everything that's going on with the you know with gabe and with with paul spangler and, and the rest of the coaching staff there um so yeah look forward to more um conversations and meeting more of my teammates and, and catching up i think it's really important uh, as we move forward Absolutely. Well, we look forward to uh, at some point soon, hopefully uh, welcoming you and other alumni back to the TTC and back on campus when it's uh, when it's safe to do so. John, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me uh, on this edition of Terrier Tuesdays. Thank you, Kevin. Enjoy it. Thanks so much. Take care now. Thanks for tuning in to Terrier Tuesdays. Give us a follow on our social media accounts at BU Athletics on Twitter and Instagram for more content.